Have you ever noticed how American and European trucks look completely different? Long-nose trucks dominate highways in the United States, while flat-front cab-over trucks are the kings of European roads. These design choices aren't just about aesthetics, they're deeply rooted in geography, culture, laws and engineering. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of trucking to uncover the reasons behind this stark difference. From historical development to regulations and driving habits, we'll explore why trucks in America and Europe are worlds apart. Let's get started. 1. Geography shapes design. One of the primary reasons American and European trucks look different is the geography of the two regions. America's vast open spaces and long highway stretches are a stark contrast to Europe's compact cities and narrow roads. In the United States, long-haul trucking often involves traveling thousands of miles across states, making efficiency and driver comfort a priority. Trucks are designed with extended hoods to house larger engines for better performance over long distances. This design also provides a crumple zone for added safety at highway speeds. In Europe, the story is entirely different. Many European cities date back centuries and were built for pedestrians and horse-drawn carriages, not modern vehicles. Narrow streets, tight corners and older infrastructure demand trucks that can maneuver easily. That's where cab over engine or COE trucks come in. These trucks have flat fronts and shorter wheelbases, allowing them to navigate urban environments effectively while maximizing cargo space. 2. Infrastructure and Road Design The way roads are built in America and Europe has a direct impact on truck design. The US interstate highway system, developed after World War II, was designed to accommodate large vehicles. Wide lanes, tall overpasses and expansive highways mean American trucks can be longer and taller without facing obstacles. On the other hand, Europe's road network is a mix of modern highways and ancient streets. European regulations often limit the total length of a truck and trailer combination to around 16.5 meters. The restriction forces truck manufacturers to prioritize compact designs, ensuring more room for cargo trailers. For example, in cities like Rome or Paris, navigating a 70-foot-long American-style truck would be impossible. European trucks must be agile, with shorter wheelbases and tighter turning radii to operate efficiently in these environments. 3. Regulations and Legal Requirements Government regulations play a huge role in shaping truck design. In Europe, laws often limit the overall length of a truck, including both the cab and the trailer. This means manufacturers must keep the cab as short as possible to maximize trailer length for carrying goods. The cab over design is a natural fit for these regulations as it saves precious space without sacrificing capacity. In the United States, the focus is more on trailer length than the combined length of the vehicle. American trucks can have longer cabs without affecting the cargo capacity, leading to the dominance of conventional long nose designs. Additionally, emission standards differ between the regions, influencing how engines and exhaust systems are integrated into truck designs. European trucks often have compact yet efficient engines to meet strict emission standards, while American trucks prioritize power for long-haul capabilities. 4. Driver comfort and safety Driver experience is another key factor in truck design. In America, where long-haul routes can span days or even weeks, driver comfort is critical. Conventional trucks with extended hoods allow for larger cabins, which often include amenities like beds, refrigerators and workspaces. These features make life on the road more bearable for drivers covering thousands of miles. Safety is also a major consideration. The long hood in American trucks provides a crumple zone, offering additional protection in the event of a front-end collision. The engine placement in front of the cab also reduces noise and heat, making the cabin more comfortable for long journeys. In Europe, where most routes are shorter and involve frequent stops, comfort is less of a priority compared to practicality. 
Cab over trucks prioritize visibility and maneuverability, which are crucial for navigating busy urban areas. While European trucks may have less luxurious cabins, their compact design allows drivers to see the road directly in front of them, improving safety in congested environments. 5. Maintenance and engine access Maintenance needs also influence truck design. In the US, conventional trucks make it easy to access the engine by simply lifting the hood. This straightforward design reduces downtime during repairs and maintenance, which is essential for fleet operators managing multiple vehicles. In Europe, cab-over trucks require the entire cab to tilt forward for engine access. While this provides full access to the engine, the process is more cumbersome and can be time-consuming. For European fleets, however, this design is an acceptable trade-off for the compactness and efficiency required in their operating environments. 6. Fuel Efficiency and Aerodynamics Fuel efficiency is a critical consideration for trucking companies worldwide, but the approach differs between America and Europe. In the US, where trucks cover long distances on highways, aerodynamics play a significant role. Conventional trucks with sloped hoods are designed to minimize drag, improving fuel efficiency over extended journeys. In Europe, the focus is more on urban and regional deliveries, where frequent stops and starts make fuel efficiency less about aerodynamics and more about engine performance. Cab-over trucks, despite their flat fronts, excel in these scenarios because their compact engines are optimized for efficiency in stop-and-go traffic. 7. Cultural Preferences and Iconic Status Cultural influences also play a role in truck design. In America, the image of the long-nosed truck is iconic, symbolizing the freedom and independence of the open road. These trucks are often featured in movies, TV shows and advertisements, cementing their place in American culture. In Europe, cab-over trucks are seen as practical workhorses. While they lack the romanticized image of their American counterparts, they are celebrated for their efficiency and ability to adapt to diverse environments. The cultural preferences of truck drivers and manufacturers reflect the priorities of their respective regions. 8. Technological Advancements Advances in technology are also shaping the future of truck design. Electric and autonomous trucks are becoming more common, and these innovations could blur the lines between American and European styles. Electric trucks, for example, often require compact designs to accommodate large battery packs. This might make cab-over designs more appealing in the US, especially for urban deliveries. Similarly, autonomous trucks prioritize efficiency and safety, which could influence manufacturers to adopt features from both styles. 9. Economic Considerations The economics of trucking are different in the US and Europe, and this affects vehicle design. In America, the focus is on maximizing efficiency for long-haul routes, which often involve transporting goods over thousands of miles. Conventional trucks are built for durability and comfort, reducing the overall cost of ownership. In Europe, the shorter distances and higher population density make compact, fuel-efficient trucks more cost-effective. The demand for cab-over trucks is so strong that manufacturers can produce them at scale, keeping prices competitive. 10. The future of trucking. Will designs converge? As technology and global regulations evolve, the differences between American and European trucks might begin to shrink. The push for electric and autonomous vehicles could lead to more universal design principles that prioritize efficiency, safety and environmental sustainability. For example, electric powertrains often require compact designs to optimize battery placement, which could make cab-over designs more common in the US. Similarly, the growing focus on reducing emissions might encourage European manufacturers to adopt aerodynamic features typically seen in American trucks. And there you have it, the reasons why trucks in America and Europe look nothing alike. From geography and infrastructure to culture and technology, the design choices reflect the unique challenges and priorities of each region. As the trucking industry continues to evolve, it will be fascinating to see how these differences change or stay the same in the years to come. What do you think? 
Should American and European trucks adopt each other's designs, or are there differences what make them special? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more in-depth explorations of the world of trucking. Thanks for watching.